Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining the next episode of the Paper Bag Club. With me, as always, is Elias Dell and Brandon Malonis, and I am Richard Knox. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, social media challenges and if we've ever done them and what we think about it. Right before we start filming this one, we actually just did a spicy ramen challenge. And if you want to check that out, well, I definitely link a different video of us making the noodles and eating the noodles. Um, but right now, we're just going to be talking about other challenges we've seen in social media. I'm sure we'll get into the challenge that we just did a little oh, bit. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so how many social media challenges have, one, have you completed? Have you participated? Well, like, let's just think of ones that we know off rip. Yeah, that's Because, right. like, I don't even know if I, like... Yeah, so um, I think... The first one that I think I've ever heard of, and it could have been earlier than that, is the uh, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah, I remember that one going around. That one now, that great. one was more so positive rather than just, you know, suffering and uh, spicy ramen-ness. Right. Um, I never did the ALS <clears throat> Bucket. I never did it either. I did not, but both my brother and sister did. Yeah. Because, you know, how would what happen is someone would do it, and then they would challenge three people. Yeah, that's right. And then it just kind of went off from there. Did you get challenged to do it um, and didn't do it? Not that I remember, so I hope not, but um, both my brother and sister did the Ice Bucket Challenge. They also did one related to ice. I, it, it wasn't like a, a charitable challenge. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, it was the Ice Salt on Your Arm Challenge, oh, and then Less that. Burn. See, that's that's just been a, around for a long time. Yeah, that, that was, was around just, when I was in like, okay. early middle school. That was just something we did. Mm -hmm. It was just like, how long can you burn yourself? And it's like, ah. Okay. Well, I knew other people. There was a challenge that went around where people were like taking pencil erasers and like, and, like erasing yes. their skin. Do you right? remember? I did yeah. one super yeah. huge and for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Just people do were it. doing it, and it was it was insane <coughs> because they're literally taking this rubber and just like burning their skin off with it uh, on their arms or wherever, just so they could have like a scar and look cool. But yeah, some challenges are scary. What? Definitely. Yeah, I know my sister when she did the I saw one like her arm was like irritated and like had a rash, and my yeah. mom was like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> there was like the turkey one. Oh, the turkey the, slurpee. The, the, the turkey slurpee? Yeah. Where you like took a piece of turkey and you just had to go <laughs> and swallow it. I'm oh, right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm the thinking like a fool. The videos of all these challenges are the best. Yeah. Though. Even with the ice bucket challenge, buckets fall on people's head. With the slurpee mm -hmm. uh, turkey one, people were literally choking on yeah. slices of meat and coughing on cameras. Um, the cinnamon challenge. Oh, oh yeah. I've done that one God. too. I did not do that one. I believe Cameron did. I and done that one. He had like a, you know, a similarly uh, funny reaction where. He held it for like two seconds and then coughed and just kind of could not stop. Right. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'm good on that one. I need challenges <laughs> where people were trying to see how many chicken boyon cubes or just boyon cubes oh. they could eat in a row before they like get sick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, there, there's also a bunch of other challenges like how many like marshmallows can you fit in your mouth? But I'm not sure if that's how many like, Tide Pods can you eat before you die? <sighs> Jesus, right? Yeah, but I'm not sure if like these smaller ones are like actual like media challenges if not just like hey let's just it's for fun like the ice bucket challenge was you know like a charitable challenge trying to get awareness out um but really any... how many of the trending videos did you do you really think donated that's my thing well like, that's the thing is i think a lot of them were just meant for awareness awareness right you know and not a lot of it probably did raise money but where it. you what did you like study like lou gehrig's disease well, um, no, I didn't no, look no, into I, it at all, I right? I just watched challenge. videos of people dumping buckets yeah. of ice on there. I was real confused at first when it came out. So when it first came out, I did search it up and I heard about like what it was awareness for. But I mean, these things like you, you're not, you, you can't know for sure, right? Like for all we know, exactly the challenge came out. It went for how it was like a year or so, I mean, couple yeah. couple months, and maybe we didn't do anything about it. But maybe one person who didn't know about it is like, hey, I have a million dollars and I'm not spending. Let me give it to them, yeah. and that helped. So I mean, awareness can do a lot. Yeah, but you know some challenges are good. Some challenges are not good. Yeah, no, what some are hell? like really not good. Like the spicy ramen two X challenge we True. just completed. <laughs> oh my gosh! For those of you who just uh, were weren't with us, yes, uh, we just did a two X spicy ramen challenge, and uh, it hurt. I'll be feeling yeah, it later it was, on. <laughs> I'm sure it will feel a lot worse later on. Yeah. Um, and that one, you can check the YouTube description to see a separate video of that. But that one is just – that was more of a fun one, but also it's very um, – what's the word I'm looking for? It's like painful and just like agony and 
whatever right <laughs> this is a word for i'm not drawn that that spicy ramen left me blank in the head yeah like i said i felt a little drunk afterwards i only had one beer <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> i instantly was like i'm feeling some people so get drunk off of alcohol was the harlem shake a challenge oh yeah that like, totally uh, was a challenge yeah, yeah, yeah that wasn't that. just a, okay okay because so now, now it's kind of like challenge. trains and challenges are almost the same thing yeah i think if the trend is labeled as a challenge like Actually, no, I guess the Harlem Shake wasn't called the Harlem Shake Challenge. Right. But, like, um... Was it but everybody so. was doing it. Yeah, I mean, I would consider <coughs> that, yeah. Okay, an actual Planking. challenge. The Pocky oh. One Chip Challenge. Okay, They were yeah. doing that on, like, ESPN. I saw a video of Shaquille O'Neal doing the One Chip Challenge, which is just, like, one tortilla chip yeah. dusted in Carolina Reaper dust, mm. and it's supposed to just mess you well, up. Well, you know those ghost pepper chips I used to bring to work in the mm-hmm. black bag? It's made by that exact same company. Yeah. And like you said, it's like one single chip foiled wrapped in a mini coffee one. box. One chip. And we saw some online that were like pushing $100 Shoot. for one chip. But it's like they got super limited and then they realized how like much money they could make if they made this like an actual marketable thing yeah. and now people are just buying it up. Hmm. It's still like kind of like too special. I think the one place that we could find it was like a Seven Eleven, a hundred and some yeah. miles away, like, <laughs> yeah. to physically pick one up. Yeah, I think the types of challenges that make people, which sounds terrible, but the ones that make people like suffer are the funniest. Oh yes, yeah. Oh um, yes. And speaking of suffering, I think my favorite challenge to watch is spicy challenges. Right, I saw this one where these two girls were on their like back patio and. They eat, I believe it was a Carolina Reaper, and they're, like, they're super excited, like, oh, this is going to be so fun, and, like, not even five seconds into it, they were, like, crying and, like, oh, yeah. begging for, like, to, like, put them out of their misery. Like, ambulances were being called. Like, it's bad. Yeah. I've never, I've been, I mean, I, didn't even, I guess I haven't ventured into that one. Well, yeah. I'm about to. Like. Yeah. But there was another one where I was, like, trying to drink, like, a gallon of, like, lemon juice or something <laughs> crazy, and it's, it's intense seeing people do this. There was one, uh, and, again, this could be trend or challenge, not entirely sure. But it, it might have just been one guy. Do you remember these guys going into grocery stores and uh, slipping and then tossing? The milk? Yeah, yeah. the milk. Like, what the heck? Dude? Right? Yeah. I'm trying not to swear. You see that? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, every time I talk now, I've, I'm like, swear jar, I don't have that kind of money, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Whew, I'm gonna yeah, so it. I mean, that was another one. Like you said, trend or challenge. I, I think they're in the same realm, but I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, me too. There, and right? that there are so many, right? Yeah, there's so many. Some of them were big. Some of them were very small. Uh, the Kylie lip, uh, the oh, Kylie yeah. Jenner lip, yeah. you stuck on the thing and you stick it on your mm-hmm. lips and they burst. My yeah. cousin did what that and she that? got in a lot of trouble. What is that? Right. Well, I think you're like swelling the blood vessels. Yeah, I think it's like. Well, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right. I'm not why. Yeah, right. it's crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, so the man. challenges are insane. And, the, and the, the, what's really insane is how they go viral. Yeah. So yeah. it just blows my mind. It started with one person doing it. Dude, it's so crazy how obsessed we are with the just the term viral. Like that could be a whole podcast in itself. And like I honestly don't even mind like that's a real life thing. Like you get on apps to go viral. Like you get on Facebook to have a family or on TikTok. oriented. Yeah. Or Instagram. That's like all TikTok's about. Snapchat, you know, yeah. trying to go viral, trying to make it. Well, you know, Snapchat has, like, daily, like, uh, stories. Yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're yeah, like, they're put me on Snap Story, put me on Snap Story. And it's like, that's real life. Yeah. That is real life. That could be a whole podcast in itself. And it's uh, a lot of people, you know, it, it depends on your opportunities for it. Some people go viral and they're just one-hit wonder. Yeah. Some people go viral and that makes their career. Yeah. And they well, go off from that. Yeah. You know, me and Bram were talking about, I don't know if me and you talked about it too, about uh, Joji started the Harlem Shake Challenge. Did he? He yeah. did. That's, that's this the pink guy. That filthy was right? Frank. Fil- filthy did. Frank. Cool. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. started it. The That's very crazy. first video of it ever is him in the pink suit in a bathroom doing it. Yeah. And you hear the Harlem Shake music and he comes out and he's like doing his little dance in yeah. his pink suit. Like he didn't transform in anything. Yeah. But when the beat drops, all of his friends show up and they're like, do the Harlem Shake. Yeah. Everybody did it from LeBron James to Ellen DeGeneres. So like everybody. I mean, yeah. I, I saw uh, like corporations were doing it for like promotional videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they were posted on like YouTube and everything. So would you call the, the Fortnite dance? A challenge, maybe all the dances <laughs> together. So again, that's, that's kind of just like that goes on too, like, like a thing. See like, now, if if we're gonna be like technical about it, right? I think challenges is an era, mm-hmm. right? I think challenges, as in like calling something a challenge, 
like you can you have challenge videos right mm-hmm. creators make challenge videos but challenge as like a type of video that's trending was a real life thing right from like 2015 to like 2017 2016 yeah. mm-hmm. Like that, like, was your whole feed on YouTube for a little bit. Like, this challenge, that challenge, this challenge. But now it's just like you said. It's like you have, there's a guy named L.A. Beast. Everything that he does is a challenge. Yeah. There was and, one where he was eating bull testicles for yeah. a challenge. It's and it's crazy. just like, um, he'll drink uh, two lava lamps. But they're like the vegetable oil type lava lamps that you make yourself. Yeah. But he's just like, the drinking two lava lamps challenge. And it's like, yo, that's like a whole line of revenue on YouTube. Right. Yeah, right, I mean, so then, like, trends and challenges, that's where it, like, meets, in my opinion. It's just, like... Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of different challenges. The hot know? knife challenge? Did you ever hear about that the one? The hot knife challenge? Yeah. I th- I think I've, I've heard of it, but I don't think I've ever seen it's it. It's just, like, where you superheat a hot knife. or, or super, <laughs> That hot knife, you superheat it. Uh, you, you, that you, hot you, you know, own a hot, hot one? And then you just sl- cut through things. Yeah. That's, oh, okay. That's yeah, literally so it. Those. But oh, kind of like, like okay, the, separate topic, but similar, you know, type deal. Uh, Salt Bay. Yeah. What about Maybe. salt bay? Just like the whole everyone dropping ice or salt on whatever. Yeah. I mean, I've yeah. seen a couple yeah, people well, do that. People, yeah, people were taking it so to be like the, the extreme. So it like the salt bay challenge, yeah. Yeah. and they'll do that. Yeah. And they'll so be doing it a, with dumb stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, anything yeah. can be a challenge. So yes, the Fortnite dance, yeah, the Fortnite dance challenge is definitely a hashtag or is definitely something that yeah. people contribute to online. And there's plenty of different types of challenges. Like there's musical ones, there's dancing ones, there's, uh, you know, Doing dumb ones. stuff. Yeah, doing ones. dumb stuff. Like, uh, oh, remember the um, the drive through one where someone orders food and then someone runs and grabs Yo, it? Oh, my yes. God. How did I forget that? That right? was the best. <laughs> That's the best. I think those are mostly staged, though. I think so, too. But still, the entertainment factor. So entertaining. I saw or this, the, or the ones that people go through the drive throughs and they order the ice cream cone. And then they, and like, they grab the ice cream. Yeah, they yeah. grab it from the ice cream or they like grab it and stick it on their head or something in the car. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, I feel like those drive through ones have to be staged sometimes because when I'm getting drive through, I am not, I am not that far away yeah. from the window yeah. to let someone run that quick. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm trying to get my food and go. I'm as close to it as possible. Yeah, I saw this one where it was one of these drive through ones, but and again, like you, like you said, it could be staged. But this person was like. Hey, I'm ready for my food. Like they reached it out, and then they saw someone. They like, snatched it back. Like, <laughs> ah, you're not getting me. And then it's like an iteration of it, I guess. And then another one where this person was again the driver, and they look in the rearview mirror, and they see him running. So they like, open the door and he, like smashes into the door, mm, and it's like good. out. Yeah, those are those are scary too. The things can go wrong so quick when you're messing with other people. Yeah, I've seen actually a couple of articles over the past couple of years where it's like YouTube couple dies during challenge. <laughs> Oh, well, it was one challenge we didn't even think about. It's the uh, people like climbing these tall buildings and everything, and like or skyscrapers, yeah, or like uh, cranes. Like the Russian, the, yes. the Russian acrobat. Well, and like just hanging off the edge with yeah. their hands on it. Herb, they're like uh, urban something climbers. Yeah. yeah. No, they gave themselves an official little name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's that's just scary. nightmare fuel to me. And there, there's articles yeah. of people dying doing yes, it. Yes, right? absolutely. Yeah. It's it's too much. What what people would do for the adrenaline, not even so much the fame. Could you yeah, imagine having to have that much adrenaline in your life to just live? That'd it's like, rough. hey, because to, to me, adrenaline's like, hey, I gotta go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I gotta yes. go outside. Today. Oh, I needed that. <laughs> right? right? They're like, I gotta go climb the fucking Eiffel Tower, <laughs> but not using any safety. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, they probably eyes. they probably were, you know, as a kid, started out indoor rock climbing. Uh, no. Um, Don't give these kids excuses. Brave. They're crazy. <laughs> They're crazy. It was a childhood, man. Um, there was a video of the human Spider-Man who literally crawled a building with these like vacuum suction cups. Oh, I remember that seeing impossible. that. Impossible. Swear, yeah. man. Really? I don't know how far he made it. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the cojones for <laughs> I'll that tell you either. How the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sucked it on just to see what it felt like to to, to try to do it. Yeah, right. That's it. Yeah, uh, parkour. Parkour. That's challenging. <laughs> yeah, I can't oh, run so for uh, for maybe three seconds. <laughs> People running and jumping over. They're pretty cool. I respect just... parkour if you're actually doing parkour. Yeah, not, and like, you're not the like And there's not like a hill, and you're like, oh, jump some salt. <laughs> 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 no, nah, bro. Right. You're just practicing. There's this new. Uh, I saw a video yesterday, and again, like I'm not sure if it is counted as like a challenge because I think when so you say a challenge, it's like this is kind of difficult to do, but I bet you can't do it. So mm-hmm. it's like. You know, it's a challenge in that aspect. But 
And again, like it's, it couldn't be a challenge, could not be. I saw this video where these two kids were, they were they, ha- they were holding hands and they were spinning each other. And the objective was to make the other one hit the trash can. Oh, right? yeah, I saw that. And, and this kid like doing flips and yes. flips and stuff like that. Oh, wow. So, I mean. It, it was on TikTok today that I saw it. I think it. so, probably. Yeah, yeah, it was so good. It was so yeah. crazy. He was like, literally the objective is to just not hit the trash can. But you're locked at the shoulders with your arms. So you're okay. like, or was it I think like it was arms. Or like hands, yeah. I yeah, think it so. was something like that. And you're like <laughs> slinging one another to hit the trash can. And this dude's like right before hitting it, jumping and doing a spin while he's connected to the guy. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll show it to you. I think I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have to see that. There was TikTok one where... Crazy. Yeah, and that's another thing. Shout was, out to TikTok, episode nine. I'm still on that shit. <laughs> like, and that's another thing with these, you know, challenges is it kind of bases off of, or originates, I feel like, off of the new trending thing. Like, Vine had a lot of good challenges. Yeah. that's A the, lot of dumb challenges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Both. Now, TikTok is a place for it. I mean, Facebook still has their, you know, place for it. But I feel like tiktok is just the best place for these challenges because they're, they're shorter term videos right. it's easier to consume yeah, I think things go viral and wash over a lot quicker on tiktok well i'm telling you right now the mind span is 60 seconds man you know. if you can't get my attention in the first 15 20 seconds i'm going to skip your shit and that's what makes tiktok so good because you have 15 seconds to be like yo i'm worth it to be on this app and other like people like me mm-hmm. i'm just posting to post yeah like i'm not trying i mean it'd be nice <laughs> well, i'm not trying like, no most of the time you just do one take you're like you know what that's fine yeah whatever one take because well, am, am i trying no <laughs> yeah no i and look at the ones that you did over and over again they got the most views Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's funny you get my tiktok because i'll get on there just to waste time and i'm like just one video just one more just one more <laughs> next thing i know it's 2 a.m and it's like, well, I did that on Facebook the... last night. I was playing yeah. a game and then I was on the couch and said, okay, I'm going to look at my phone for a little bit beforehand. And I was scrolling through videos and I, I kept saying, okay, I'll watch this next one. Yes. That's it. Come to the dark side. Yeah, I'm not so much that with Facebook so much as I am with like recently TikTok and like Instagram just because, again, they're they're short platforms. I had to and they're get up. easier. I, I had to just like take the Instagram app off of my front page. I had to because it's it's... This is PG thirteen. We're gonna. Keep it. <laughs> it's That's just all booties, you need to know. man. It's just booties yeah, on Instagram. The, That's the it. age of Instagram models is real. Take it off. I don't need it. Yeah, I'm really bad in my life. Bro. I'm really bad with a lot of social medias to keep up with trends and and said like even with challenges, it'll be a long time. Like a thousand million people have already done the challenge, and then I'm like, oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> Like, Richard's wow, like, it's you're such late. A, have you guys heard that Kiki Do You Love Me song? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this no, is I'm, why I'm so bad with social media. You're just busy. Yeah. No, you're just busy. Maybe that's true. I have Twitter on my phone. I have Instagram on my phone. I got TikTok. I have Snapchat. I'm I'm awful with it. Just to, trying to keep up with everyone else's stuff. I'm an old man <laughs> inside. It's the new it's the new frontier. It's the wild, wild west the internet is. Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> i only know google.com um all right um yeah i mean social media is interesting too i think we had a previous episode about it but i again i think i have every main social media facebook youtube instagram twitter linkedin uh tiktok Ooh, throw in your linkedin oh, right. yeah go Ooh, check it out go check them out yeah uh so all of these and for those of you who don't know i i listen and watch uh, gary v a lot and his like the thing he always says now is like TikTok and LinkedIn are the next Facebook and Instagram. True. So if you're not on it, you need to hop you on. You think they thought that about Vine too? But see, here's the thing. I, I've been trying to explain this, man. You can't monetize Vine. Well, how was it? you could have monetized Vine the same way they've monetized TikTok, but that wasn't that mindset of donations to creators wasn't there yet. Oh, you know what you. I'm saying? It wasn't the Vine wasn't trying to outright pay these people to to perform on their platform, but they also weren't letting them gain any monetary uh, like any any money from their fans, right? Gotcha. Because they didn't have that set up. TikTok has a user can pay X amount of dollars, get X amount of TikTok credit, then can use that TikTok credit in a user's live to tip. Okay. Then for their yeah. for their creativity for their videos like some of these people shouldn't be making videos for free but they can because TikTok allows them to right but then again TikTok is taking like thirty to sixty percent mm. if you're a big enough creator that's that's still a lot of money yeah I've always been curious with that like how how do people make a living off of social media right, right. so it starts with places like this uh like you get the the donation revenue from them. Through donation revenue, you'll start with merch. Mm-hmm. 
um, from merch and through this, hopefully you'll get sponsorships. Yeah. And brand um, it's like brandon has been holding out on the information. I'm not. This, whole time this is, about us this being is literally what I think about right. all the time. You like, you know, I think of social media and I think of the internet like business. A, like a man would think about steel. It's almost or like, like a whole nation. Wood. You know what I'm saying? Like no. it, social media is something that you can work with and you can make it literally what you want okay, that to makes make sense it. Then. Like if I was smart enough and I knew enough about creating apps, mm-hmm. I feel like with the right people around me, I can make an app. Yeah. I uh, I was always curious how you can monetize TikTok because I never knew. Um, with like Instagram and YouTube, I'm fairly familiar with that. Like, you get partnerships. I don't, yeah. So like with, with Instagram though, I don't make money off of that. I haven't ever. But I read a post that said, you know, based on your engagements, which is likes, comments, shares, all these things, the average payout is 20 to 50 cents per engagement. Mm-hmm. So if you, you know, you get like 100 or like, let's just say 100 engagements and you're getting money off of that, that's roughly like 30 to $50. Right. Give or take, of course. And, you know, it depends. And then YouTube the way they work is off of uh, CPM, which is views on adver- on like advertisements for your channel. So it's based off like thousands of views. So you get paid. I, I think the average is, and I could be wrong, but I think last this I is checked. Inter- this is Entertainment <laughs> Economics 101. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just intrigued. Yeah. So I think with YouTube, it works like the average is about $3 per thousand ad views, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're getting hundred thousand views and it's on a monthly basis Mm -hmm. so if you get a hundred thousand views then what's that math like three three hundred dollars thirty three something like that something my math's off but yeah you know and that's just for a hundred thousand these like top people are getting like 50 million views in a month well and you also have to think of creators who have been with youtube have who have been almost grandfathered into like who are able to direct youtube in its guidelines mm-hmm. and it's and it's uh trending because it's system yeah because i don't algorithm. think i feel like youtube will be very soon will be like it'll be antiquated because i feel like a video platform streaming service like right now we're getting too much into the politics of youtube right in our generation i don't know if you've been following that mm-hmm. but like youtube's been like censoring a lot of people taking down people's videos banning people from the site and so there are going to be multiple places that are now going to start hosting videos um true that being said they're creating a market right that being said apps like tiktok apps like vine if they could have monetized it apps like um instagram um they're going to be your your main revenue source especially if you are a are a social media influencer or or, you know what i'm saying yeah 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 so it's like tiktok is the best example because we haven't seen anything like tiktok since myspace that's on everything like yeah you can compare it to vine but the amount of users that it's gained in its first year significant yeah do you know those numbers off the top of your head no no idea but i know there's no idea but they are they are astounding yeah, everyone used myspace at first i remember when i first got a facebook it was so weird and foreign mm-hmm. i was like people like this it seems so much more professional and but but yet the public and looks at it, it was. and they're like but that's a kid app but but kids use that app kids but it's but that's because like you haven't used it like yeah. you haven't it, it adapts itself to you like so if you're on there looking at kid videos you're gonna get shown fucking kid videos. yeah i've been seeing a couple of on my for you page for tiktok i've been seeing a bunch of like business um like workers like there's this one guy who's like a financial advisor Mm -hmm. and he does this thing called like um money moves monday and he basically gives you like really important tips on like how to create a financial basis for your life and like he's just providing value straight up like he's not hey come check out my channel pay for my class whatever right but i mean that's an interesting point though um back in high school around 2014 ish era me and my friend Jaden had a Call of Duty gaming channel that at its peak reached about 14,000 subscribers. See? Wow, that's crazy. And during that, we actually got monetized so we could get a payout based off of, you know, ad revenue. And on average, for a month, we got about $30 Yeah, a I was month. about to say. It's, right, it's and that's a high school kid with no job just making videos for YouTube. On your spare time. Hella cool. Very cool. And then that also goes on more to, like, there's ad revenue. Like you said, there's merch. There's brand deals. There's... uh. Uh, sponsorships. There's Patreon. There's GoFundMe's. Like yeah. I just that's not that wouldn't be a type. Uh, I mean that would be a, in a sense like if I had a group effort. Yeah. But if a singular effort, I'm I'm gonna be trying to make merch. Like I'm gonna yeah. you know. So there's a lot. So pretty much if you want a job in this type of stuff, go do it. It's possible. Like yeah. for real. Like go go do it. 
That's, you won't, I feel you won't really strongly tantra. about that. Yeah, I feel like people are so discouraged about finding jobs that are like not traditional jobs. Yeah, this, me and Elias were actually just talking about that uh, at work a few days ago about how it's so nervous to try to do this, like, even if it's just for fun now, like, having a job that's solely based off of what you're doing on the internet, uh, it's foreign to me. It's weird to think that I'm just doing my own thing all the time. Um, And people one day might want to, or that there's people out there who do do that, and people want to pay them for that work or for that art that they're, or their content that they're putting out. So uh, it's definitely weird. Yeah, and that's why, man, let's get real deep real quick. That's why I love America, boy. (laughs) For real, this is awesome. I, like, if I if I'd pursue this, let's say low key, we all get like do something, whether it be together, whether it be separate. But like, I wouldn't feel bad. Like, I like that would be the coolest job in the world. Like, isn't yeah. the isn't the expression to to have a job but not have to work? Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So right. if you if you enjoy what you do, you don't work a day in your life. Right. But um. So yeah, challenges. Ch- <laughs> yeah, we got a challenging my parents topic. by not being a doctor. <laughs> That's a real challenge. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, insert bad Asian impression. <laughs> Woo! There's that polarization. Hey, I mean, I think the people that are watching us right now are like, "Hey, those guys are decent." So they, they were, were they're funny, funny racists. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> just it's kidding. just for jokes. It's just I don't mean jokes. it. It's just funny. Yeah. Um, white people have nothing original, so we have to make jokes about other things. Sure, right. Um, yeah, because white people making fun of white people is not very funny. Mm. Right, because white people are funny. <laughs> right. So challenges. Uh, we talked about spicy challenges. There's also like just regular like nasty food challenge. Oh, drink a gallon of milk challenge. Oh, but I can do That'd that and not be a challenge. Oh, yeah. chug it. Yeah, yeah, chug it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no. I, yeah. no I'm fun. drinking probably a few gallons of milk in my lifetime. Have you seen well, this week the, <laughs> for me? Have yeah. you seen the guys who will take a water bottle and – push it down their throat in one sip where's the water bottle you have a water bottle i you can't do it bet bet i'm gonna go get a water bottle give me a water bottle i'll pause this right now do i, I have to crush to? it like this or can i crush it my way you can crush it however but okay. you have to sip it in one go one go dude yeah one sip. in less than two seconds yes. i can do it yeah no yes no okay You're i doing tried it right here and it hurt okay that's because you have to relax you i know to relax. how to do it okay. i just do? haven't do it i do it i know two bottles of water rich i know how to do it i just can't do it it's confirmed, man. The zombie Skittle is just sour. Yeah. No, it's... I had an orange one. It was disgusting. Oh, okay. Well, maybe there's just oh, one of them. Oh, well. Oh, shoot. I can't. Oh, well. So what if I, like, it's spit cold. everywhere? Then spit on the floor. <laughs> then spit on the floor. Yeah, spit on the floor, Brandon. I'm not going to king shame. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. One, two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's still full. It's okay. still full. I it did spill a little. It's okay. You can't do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Okay. One, two. No. <laughs> <laughs> for, those, it. for those of you listening, please go check out the YouTube channel so you can see that. Uh, good try, though. We're gonna edit that out. I'll right? you, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I once saw Brandon shove a whole McDouble in his mouth. I'm going to zoom that in. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> um, oh, no, that was the worst idea. All right, I think that's going to be good for it. You want to... Update, I'm not checking my chat when I'm done with this. <laughs> I got to go blow my fucking nose. Come we got a tissue yeah. somewhere. Oh, yeah, he's got them. Yeah, gotcha. I'll be right back. All right, you got one minute so we can outro. Yo, that's hilarious. I tried it. It is painful. Uh, yeah, I'm not good doing that thing. No, so, I, I'm not good at really any of the challenges I've ever uh, done, which is not a lot. I'm not even sure if that's a challenge. It's just a talent. It's just Dude, a talent. You're telling me you could get more water down in one sip than me? No. <laughs> I'm not. As long as I'm going to practice. You said you could do the bottle. <laughs> okay, let's see what's left of it. It was also I cold. It was I'm and also like at least an eighth of it came out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and another eighth was in your ear. Okay, okay that's come on. Time. I mean, that's more than I can, can do. I I'll tell you clap? that. Can I get some likes in the chat? I'll tell you, that's more than I can do. All right, we got 30 seconds to outro. All right, guys. So this could possibly very well be my last physical version copy uh, appearance. appearance of the Lunchbox. The, f- <laughs> the Paper Bag Club. <laughs> the Paper Bag Club. The Paper Bag Club. Um, thank you, guys. I had a lot of fun doing this. This was like, uh, seriously... Uh, therapy for me, both of you. Like, I appreciate you guys doing this. <clears throat> I appreciate the time and effort that you took and how serious you took it. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be on through Skype. I'm oh, not yeah, getting man. emotional. Yeah, I'm literally man. still choking and drowning. <laughs>
from the water, but thanks. And uh, tune in next time. Nice. All right. Okay. Woo! Right. Jane. Oh,